Hi, my name is Jenny. I live on Vashon Island. I'm the owner of Jenny's Masks, and I've been making masks for about three and a half months now, ever since the pandemic began. I had to close my school. I'm a preschool teacher. I own a preschool. I had to close it because of the pandemic, and I started getting back into quilting, but I soon figured out that I was going to need to find something else to occupy my time. So I joined a volunteer mask making club with the goal of providing every resident on our island with quality masks. So we started experimenting. We did pleated. We did fitted. Finally, we discovered the box design. And that, after you know testing it on thousands of people, that seemed to be the design that people loved. That it had the flexibility of fitting a number of different faces. It had a uh, tie casing so you can adjust the ties really easily. If you don't like long ties, you have elastic at home, you can replace it with elastic. I don't do the elastic because it's hard to get a good fit and hard to get it adjustable. So I do these long stretchy ties either made out of, you can buy swimsuit material by the yard or you can buy a cotton spandex by the yard and I just make ties out of that. I've also experimented with different nose wires from uh, certain gauge wires to earlier days pipe cleaners or twist ties and now I finally use these uh, garden ties that I cut down and they're really moldable, they're bendable, other metal, flat metal pieces that I've gotten have broken. So you can know when you're getting one of Jenny's masks that each piece of it has been tried and tested and developed and it's an evolution of masks. So just to kind of show you, this was one of my very first masks. So when we first started making masks, we made these pleated masks, which were nice because they were expandable, but it was hard to get a good seal along your face. And the ties we were using were long, which were great. You just tie them behind your head. But again, that was a pain. Have to tie behind your head. Some people couldn't reach it. The other thing that happened is they would just get all mangled in the washing machine. So we moved away from those. Then we moved on to fitted masks, which I love these fitted masks. But you'll see. What happens is you can't, when you talk, a lot of times it will start sliding down depending on your face. Um, my husband, after a little while of talking, his mask would be down to here and that's not effective. I've kept this design for my children's masks because I feel like it fits their faces best. For adult faces, I feel like you need something that goes below your chin so that when you talk, it's not gonna slide down and it also gives you some more protection. But for my kids' masks, I love the fitted design. I think it fits their faces really well. I put the same nose wire, just a little bit shorter, in their masks. I use the same stretchy ties. It goes behind their head so it doesn't hurt the back of their ears. And when they're not wearing it, they can just keep it down around their neck. Um, obviously, you want to have supervision when, when your ch children are wearing masks. But the masks that go behind their ears, when they're not wearing them, when they're uncomfortable, they take them off, they leave them places, um, you don't want that. So I still love the fitted masks for children. And I offer them in three sizes, a small, a medium, and then the large is also my, uh, kind of my women's size. So if you really like, um, if you really like fitted still, you can get a child large fitted mask. But if you've tried fitted, you've tried pleated, and you want something new, then I would really recommend giving my pleated, not pleated, but it looks like a pleat, box mask a try. Even the box mask has evolved. So you can see this box mask is very boxy. See how it cuts across right there? It's very boxy. And for some people, again, that wasn't comfortable on the bridge of their nose. So I made it more relaxed. So now it still has that box shape, 
but you can see it just gives a little more breathing room in there. It's not so tight. The other thing that's unique about these masks is they, I mean, they come, I've made them in, I think I have 35 different colors on my Etsy shop right now. And I just went to the fabric store yesterday and bought more fabric. A lot of these fabrics are uh, unique in that they may be the last uh, that they'll be produced. Like you can't find them other places. So if you find a design that you really like, and I only have three of them, it may be because that fabric is out of print now and I can't get any more. So if you find one that you like, um, I just recommend snatching it up. So to tell you about how these masks fit, so I already kind of explained the shape of them, the nose of them, the long ties, and why I do the long ties again, just like for kids, so it's not hurting the back of your ears. And when you're not wearing it, you can put it down around your neck and I don't know, it kind of looks like a scarf or something. Or if, if you're wearing it around your neck and you're seeing somebody, you know, you're out on a walk or something, or um, you're going into the grocery store, you got your mask ready and then you just can put it up like that and you're ready to go. If you need a breath of fresh air, huh, and then put it back up. Inside my masks are either this is called, this is uh, polypropylene and uh, it's also called Smart Fab. But if you poured water on this polypropylene, water would not go through. So it's um, a non-woven barrier to prevent fluids from going through. I've been experimenting with different kinds of filters. So this one has polypropylene with the Smart Fab inside of it. Other people just use a paper towel. And the thing that makes these masks unique as far as filters is that it the opening of it, so here's the inside of one of my masks, and you can see there's these corners in it. So this one says SF, that means it already has Smart Fab inside of it. So I just put that so people know. You can't iron Smart Fab on high, you can iron it on medium, like on wool setting, but you don't want to honor, iron it on high. So what you can do with these masks is you can put whatever filter you're using and tuck it into the corner of the mask. So there it is just tucked inside the corners of the mask. So I make um, these filters fit inside the corners of the mask. I've seen other uh, filters that you can buy online uh, that I've just folded up and put inside the mask. What I like about these instead of a pocket. So for one, we were having pockets that were um, gapping because they were, once they get washed, you know, they don't, they're not sealed all the way. You know, you have that opening inside. But what I liked about this is that, you know, if you're wearing makeup and you've got your mask on, the inside of your mask is gonna stay clean because you've got that paper towel in there or you've got your other filter in there. I was talking with a, a checker at um, our local hardware store and she was wearing a box mask that her daughter made. And she was telling me that she put those blue shop towels, you know, there's those paper towels you buy at the hardware store. She folded it up and she put it inside. And she really liked that because it absorbed, absorbed the moisture when she was talking. If partway through the day, you know, it was getting wet, she could just take it out and put a new one in. So a really nice design in that way. If you're somebody that gets warm, you may not want the Smart Fab inside, even though the Smart Fab is very easy to breathe through. If you have another layer between your cotton, it is gonna make it warmer. So if you're somebody that gets warm, you may want to get one that does not have the Smart Fab inside. So one that does not have the Smart Fab inside, and then you can put your own filter inside of it. So to get a good fit with this mask, this is where the red one here, you're going to, okay, you're gonna, and this is another one of those fabrics that they don't make anymore. So I have two of them left in stock and I've found something that's sort of similar, but can't find the same one. You're gonna put, you can see the top because you've got the nose wire. You're gonna have the, the back facing you. You're gonna put the bottom strap over your head then you're gonna pull the top strap over the top of your head, adjust it 
So bend your nose wire. If you wear glasses, people really like this mask because it doesn't fog up their glasses. Okay, that's what I hear over and over again. So mold your nose, it, it'll come, your nose wire comes all the way out to here. So it really helps seal that. Once you get it over your head, you see how it's loose down here? You don't want that. So if you pull, 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 when you pull this, it'll tighten it back here. And then you just pull your ties apart. And there you have an awesome fitting mask. You can cut off, the ties will come kind of long so you can cut off the extra. Um, if you don't like wearing it on the higher part of your hair, what I suggest if you have long hair, get it adjusted. Okay, get it adjusted and then pull it down, you know, underneath your hair and then just pull it up over your ears. So then it sort of has that profile of a mask that goes behind your ears, but it's going to be more comfortable. And when you're not wearing it, again, you just put it down and um, it just looks like you have a cute scarf or bandana. So you're going to want to have one for every outfit that you have. So I think that's about it. Uh, I love these masks. I wouldn't be selling them if I didn't think they were great masks. I've, I think I've made 600 masks now. Uh, five, the first 500 I made were all ones that I donated. And again, you know, trying all the different designs. I mean, all the different, these were all the different t-shirts that I bought and tried. And so every piece of this mask has been um, tried out and found that this really is the the mask that the most people love, the one that they feel like they can wear all day, one that doesn't fog up their glasses, ones that are comfortable. Some, a lot of people don't like the masks that sit on their ears because their ears may be shaped a little different. So, and the children's masks, my kids love their masks. I, the few times I've taken them out, my youngest, he's seven, and I have to remind him, okay, you can take your mask off now, you know, we're in the car, and he just doesn't even realize it's on. It's on. He's running around outside playing, and he just doesn't realize it's on. So I think that's a really good sign, and I hope you pick one up for yourself, um, for those that you love, for your kids, whoever, and uh, stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.